Hello everyone, it's System, and this is Astroblog. Hope everyone is well, having a busy day. I myself, well, I'm having a real good one, so yeah, let's get back to this pack here and uh, yeah, progress. I guess, uh, what did I do in between episodes? I guess I worked on the base a little bit, went ahead and made these. These are anti-blocks, so we go to anti, check that out. Really easy blocks to make. Uh, I think it's a white one, right? Yeah, just some glowstone and some stone. And then, yeah, they're just very bright. They're actually meant to be used as like a green screen, so you can like, you know, get like a perfect image of your skin, for instance, because that uh, makes it really easy to kind of get rid of just one color when you are doing editing like that. So yeah, they're like green screen blocks, which is uh, pretty neat, but they look awesome at the same time. Also made these uh, slanty blocks. That's what I'm gonna call them slanty. Uh, they're from uh, Block Crafty. So you go to Block Crafty, just craft these basic uh, frame blocks here. Then go ahead and turn them slant or these other shapes as well. Then use whatever block you want on them and they turn into them. So pretty neat little blocks, but uh, I don't like to use a ton of these because I've had issues of them uh, with them in the past, but I just felt this main entrance needed something. And it just, yeah, I think it looks better. Uh, I changed the floor a bit. So I did that as well. And I think I finally finished these rooms up here. I'm gonna say they're finished. Yeah, I did do the ceilings. And uh, yeah, they're just very bright with the anti-blocks. I really like those anti-blocks. They can get a little uh, oppressive if you use too many of them. And I may have in this room, but I still like it. <laughs> anyway, that is pretty cool. I got that done. I also found this here. I kind of forgot I got this as a reward. And I could have made this anyway. Um, stored remote. It is a wireless remote for uh, remote. Oh, what is this one? It's a uh, simple storage. I was going to call it remote storage <laughs> for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, it's just a wireless remote. So when you get one of these, you just kind of shift and right click on a storage master and links it up. You're good for, I think, 64 blocks, it says on it. I think it's, yeah, 64. So that is pretty awesome. And I also set up one more machine here. I'm gonna show you right here. It was in the quest line and I actually needed this one. So this is the, uh, obviously, the Aquius Accumulator. All it does is collect water uh, infinitely, as long as there's water blocks around it. So yeah, it was a better solution than using the crucibles. And that way I can keep these machines going and a tank kind of fully, uh, full so I can just grab water so I don't have to run to a river like I did in the last episode like a derp. What am I doing here now? Uh, I have it on this. Let's turn it to something else and just max it out. <laughs> there you go. And uh, yeah, it's still making this stuff. Lava is still a little slow, I guess, but not that big a deal. Let's uh, drop that ice on the ground because we don't really need it right now. And did I do anything else? Well, I did set up the miner again. Yeah, it's right there. It's um, 400 meters away. Uh, mostly because I had to get an ore. I think it was a uh, Torite. So I'd go to Torite. We actually needed this today. And uh, it can only be found in the swamp dimension. And uh, I think it tells you here on the agate. Yeah, right there. Also, I ran into one more thing and I didn't know how to find this one because it didn't have a nice tooltip uh, like that one. It was a uh, red rock, was it? I think it was this stuff. Yeah, red rock. And one of these has, uh, I'll look at this because I saw it in here. My extrapolation that, yeah, it was this red rock. The base one so you get the red cobblestone i think that's what i have right now and then i'm gonna have to smelt it down uh but it doesn't tell you where to get it and you need it for this you have to have this to make a component uh for the shape card because we're going to the builder today and i didn't know where to hunt it down it totally confused me uh it's in savannas so if you're looking for that it's in savannas so that is definitely the thing so what we're going to end today is going to be the builder that's going to help us uh kind of fix our meteoric iron issue that is my hope anyway. And then we're probably gonna hit the Mars and uh, get that done as well. So let's go ahead and uh, grab everything we need and uh, kind of push forward here. So like I said, the first thing we're gonna get to today is going to be working on a builder uh, to help us deal with our, I guess it's a meteoric iron issue. <laughs> let's call it that. Um, I don't wanna have to go manually mine it. It's just, I mean, we need a bunch of it move board. I just wanna deal with it. So like I said, we're gonna work on the builder here. We are gonna need some of those bricks though, so I'm gonna go and smelt that down. The builder is a pretty cool machine. It can do uh, automated mining for you really easy. So yeah, pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and grab that. You can also do like building and stuff. Like it's an amazing machine. But anyway, let's go ahead and grab that. That's modular storage. Oh, that's not the builder. Why don't I have the builder up there? Let's hold the dirt. Let's go to the builder. <laughs> grab that, pop that there. Uh, the builder is this recipe. We're gonna need some of those bricks probably. And I don't think I have enough, right? So let's go ahead and grab a little bit more. Now we may be back here in a bit. Uh, I did in this one, right? Where's my bricks? Right here. There we go. Go ahead and uh, see if we can make one more of those puppies. That looks good. Then we'll go ahead and make a machine frame. And then hopefully 
the, I was going to make that again. It had me tricked. There you go. There's a filter. So there's no quest line for our aft tools, but uh, yeah, some of the recipes have been changed. Now, this is what we need to do the actual building. So that, a power source, a chest, and then you also need this, a shape card. So we're gonna go ahead and grab one of them. Now, shape card is mostly for building and stuff. We wanna be able to do coring and the mining of blocks. So we're gonna have to go ahead and do this. And this recipe has been vastly changed. So we need to go ahead and work on this. I think I have a good amount of those now. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab them. Go ahead and uh, let's drop like half of them in there. Sweet. And, uh, see if we can get this going here. Uh, we need these. Did I, I smelt those? It gets down yet? I can't remember. Uh, you just find these randomly in all the biomes. So these are these aren't very hard to find. These ones, like I said, these have to be found in the ice biomes. And then the other thing. Oh, that's just got advancement. Arch de Triumph. <laughs> I have no idea. But anyway, yeah, these ones are air and anywhere. These are snow biomes. Like everything's like biome dependent, uh, with the kind of lockdown here, the gate. And uh, yeah, if, if it's not like you're not told how to get it, <laughs> it gets really confusing really quick, right? Let's go ahead and grab four of those and then go ahead and grab, I guess that pick there. I think that's a pick anyway. Then we'll go ahead and grab a shovel. Should be good there. And then we're gonna need four of those alloys. Those should be easy to make. Let's go ahead and grab uh, alloy. I think I have the base level one, so I think I did a stack. And then we'll just need diamonds, right? So let's go ahead and grab four of those. Need to get four of those pulverized down really quickly. Let's go ahead and uh, do that. Pulverizer, I uh, can just pop it in here, right? Sweet, that'll get done. This machine is pretty fast now too, so we don't even have to wait very long. I haven't sped up this one though, so we'll just kind of set it up and uh, go do some other stuff. There we go. So what else do we need here? So I guess the last component of this will be these glycerite, glycerite, glacierite, <laughs> it gets. And do that is going to be the alloy furnace I was talking about with that uh, weird red brick. Uh, we're also going to need some tin plates, and we don't have those yet. Tin plate. Oh, just tin, man. I just need like uh, one, two, three, four, five, I think it was. It was like five if I grab that. Probably going to have to run this through a compactor because uh, I think that's the kind of tin plates that it was, right? Any plate tin. I don't even know how to make that one. That one's more expensive, so we'll do it this way. <laughs> Way, way cheaper, just take a couple seconds. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, I guess grab these. We got four of them. And uh, is there anything else we could do while we're waiting here? We have to do that. I probably have furnace. I'm also gonna make this thing here. It's modular storage uh, with the fully upgraded. So I already made that. Uh, it's gonna be able to hold 300 different blocks of materials. So it's really good uh, for storing the items that are gonna come in through the miner. So it's gonna be good for that. So go ahead and do that. And uh, that looks pretty easy, actually. Just uh, some gold blocks. Two, that looks good and sweet. So yeah, this tier three one, the storage module for the modular storage block, this uh, this module supports 300 stacks. So it holds massive amounts of items. So that'll be really useful. Should probably go ahead and make a servo as well because we're gonna need that. Actually, let's make two of those. And then, oh, there was another machine I was gonna make as well. We're gonna get a whole lot of like asteroid blocks that we don't want. So what we're actually going to do is void them off using this uh, nullifier here. Really cool little block from Thermal. And uh, I don't know if there's actually a quest attached to this one, but I was looking for something that would destroy blocks. And I know this can do it, so we'll know here in a second. <laughs> going to have to go grab some more clay. And uh, do I have a bucket of lava there? Probably not, eh? Let's go do that. Go ahead and uh, see if we can actually get some clay here. Uh, sorry, bricks. There we go. And we'll have to go upstairs for lava because I don't have a proper lava set up down here. But I can usually just leave it here. Oh yeah, I set that tank there. I kind of forgot about that. Anyway, that'll work. Go ahead and make nullifier. And uh, yeah, should be good. So just uh, two more clay bricks. Bam, bam. Oh, okay. I was going to say I don't have enough. <laughs> Thought I just grabbed it. There we go. And nullifier. Yeah, so the whole point of this block, oh, it is a quest, is to destroy things. So you just pump things into it you don't want. So that's that. Let's go ahead and uh, see if our plates are here. That looks good. And I've never used this next machine here, so we'll kind of see how this turns out. Am I really missing everything? I thought I did these uh, red bricks. Oh, no, I just did the base ones. I'm making a whole bunch for no reason. And apparently, we need furnaces. There we go. That should work there. Grab you. And finally, we got this thing. So I don't think this thing takes power. I don't think, anyway. Yeah, it doesn't take power. Probably just takes coal. 
and I think it's this, and uh, the other thing was the, it was Torite, right? I think I've already gone ahead and smelted that down. Yeah, you just smelt that down in the uh, furnaces there. Uh, the material there, what is it, this stuff? It doesn't double either, so there was a way of doubling it, but it was way more complicated than I wanted to deal with. So I think we just do that, right? And then probably some fuel. So let's go ahead and grab some uh, charcoal. There we go. Sweet. And hopefully that works. Yeah, that looks easy enough. And uh, what else was I doing here? Anything else? Are we actually done? I think we might be after this, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, we're also going to make uh, these here. And I actually want one of these for the base too. So this is a chunk loader. Loger? No, chunk loader. It's from Chicken Chunks. And uh, it's a really cool little item. And uh, it's going to be used to keep our base basically. Am I really out of steel plates? Let's go to plates here. I am too. Let's go ahead and grab some more because I do want to make some more of these. Uh, yeah, steel plates. Let's go ahead and make another like half stack of them. I'm almost surprised. It's like I think there should be some in the machine. Usually whenever I'm almost about to run anything. Uh, it's one of these things I check before the videos. I go, do I have enough plates? <laughs> Apparently I forgot, but anyway. Uh, but these chunk loaders are really awesome. So if I take this, it's going to be used to chunk load my base basically uh, very easily. I can pop it down pretty much anywhere. Kind of right click on it. I'm going to set it to three radius. And then I could even do show lasers. Kind of shows you the area in which it's going to chunk load. And make sure when you're not around it, uh, everything stays, you know, automated and moving. Yeah, that's going outside the walls. Maybe I'll do it one bigger. Let's do four. And uh, that'll cover the entirety of my base. I can hide the lasers now. I don't really need that. And uh, yeah, that'll handle that. So we've got those uh, ingots there. And uh, we should now, hopefully, be able to make this thing, right? Sweet. And uh, we've got our shape card. So I'm just looking here. Let's see if we actually made everything. We got that. We got that. We got that. That and that. That actually looks good. So did we actually get any plates yet? Uh, just like about uh, eight of them. I would like to get a second one of those chunk loaders because uh, they're just good to have um, for spot chunk loading. So you actually take one of these and then craft it like this. Isn't that what the way it is? You go to use on it. Oh, you got to use ender pearls. There you go. And you actually get 10 of these small ones. And all this one does, it literally just chunk loads one single chunk so nice for when you're like working in other dimensions you have a small little automation there and just want to have that one choke uh one chunk um just chunk loaded you just use one of these puppies so that's pretty sweet so i think that is actually everything we need we got a lever here we got ducks yeah i think we got everything i'm gonna do a quick check here and if so we're actually going to head to the asteroid dimension set up this builder and hopefully start getting some meteoric iron and okay let's go ahead and set up this builder so let's actually hit up here we're going to move away from the ship here because if i don't do this right the builder is going to um mine this mine this entire ship so we don't want it to do that uh we can also turn on our night vision right so go ahead and do that yeah there it is i thought we'd go set it up over here just on top of this little structure because uh, i really don't care if this thing gets destroyed so we'll go over here get this set up and uh, yeah, get this thing mining. Um, yeah, it's gonna mine a massive area, like a giant area. I think it's a 512 by 256 by 512. So yeah, really big area. And in the process, it's going to tear apart those meteors. And I'm hoping that uh, sooner or later, it's gonna find the iron, which is uh, right here. Uh, why is it taking so long with this tool? I need to upgrade this thing to the next level I can. Um, it should go normal speed. Do I not have a pick on me? Oh, I got this one. Silk Touch should be able to handle it fine. But anyway, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I'm getting the actual meteors here too, aren't I? I didn't think of that. Yeah, Silk Touch. <laughs> I was wondering why I wasn't getting the actual, uh, the broken pieces that you usually get out of these things. This is actually how I've gotten most of my iron, just by going around and finding these on top of the meteors within uh, range of our base here. Um, but yeah, now that I'm not spending time up here, I'm not getting any of these meteors, right? I have no idea where that one went. But anyway, oh, it went in my inventory. That's even better. Anyway, let's go ahead and just fill in that hole there. Actually, that hole doesn't even matter. If I don't do it right, this little structure is going to get destroyed anyway. So what we're going to do here is go ahead and set up the builder. Builder is pretty easy to set up. We'll kind of pop it. Let's pop it a couple back here just so we have a little bit of a platform. And then we'll go ahead. Uh, we'll grab a lever. This thing will need this. So we'll just pop it there. Then what would we want next? Probably power. Power would be good. Now that we have the base chunk loaded, we'll be able to get power in this dimension, no problem. 
We just need our power system kind of chunk loaded there for it to work properly. And uh, we should have power in there now, so that works. Holds a million RF. Then next, uh, I want those. They're very important to me. We're going to go ahead and uh, pop down the modular storage. And then we're going to fill in this card here. So we just pop that right there. Now this thing can actually hold like 300 stacks of items. So that is kind of the idea of it. But uh, we're just going to pop that out there. doesn't take power either. Like this thing's ridiculous. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, set up the rest of it here. We'll have to set up the shape card, right? So let's go set this up. You can kind of grab it. You can set it two ways. You can shift and right click with it, or you can take it and put it in the machine and hit this uh, little question mark here. And uh, we're going to set it to 512. And if I say 512, it'll go 256, then 512, right? Yeah, that is the max, right? If I go 1,000, yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> there you go. It gives you a little preview, but it's so large, you're not going to be able to see it. So that is something. Uh, we're going to go ahead, and I want it to be hinged to a corner. So it doesn't try to, like right now, if I turned it on, it would have built that giant 512 by 256 by 512 box at the center of the machine. The center of the machine would be the center of that kind of, you know, structure that it's going to mine. And it would have ate this, it would have ate these machines here, probably this flux point, you know what I mean? It would have just eaten a whole lot of stuff that we don't particularly want eaten. Um, but this way, it'll leave our ship alone and it won't kind of hurt anything. We can actually look at that now. So I basically just hinge it to this corner, so it should go it that way there. So it's a uh, preview, that's what it is. This may take a second to load in too. Yeah, because <laughs> it's a giant box, right? So that's the area it's gonna mine. Why is it not going higher than that though? Oh, that is, yeah, we're near the top, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. The little tiny asteroids are everywhere. So that's the area it's gonna mine. It's gonna mine that giant area and hopefully get us some meteor guy in the process. If not, I can hinge it to another side, and uh, if I have to, I can move it around, right? So that is kind of the idea there. I should be able to just turn this on now, so let's actually go do that. Let's turn that on. Yeah, it's already going. See if actually stuff starts coming in. It shouldn't take too long to actually see something start. You just never know where it's actually going. <laughs> I just want to see something coming in bed. Y levels are going. Oh, it's getting down to normal Y levels now. It should pull up those little small, like, micro asteroids as well but uh i'd like to see something coming like what's going on here where's it at Let's see why level what do you mean nothing's in here <laughs> i expected asteroids by now huh i'm curious why is this not working it, oh there we go it is working okay i don't know how it found a chunk with nothing in it though that's a little weird. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, so we, we're actually starting an asteroid rock. There we go. It's actually coming in really quick now. And uh, there's like two different colors, right? I need to go ahead and deal with this because this is going to fill up this machine really quickly. And that's why I actually have the nullifier here, right? So we're going to take that maybe. And where could we put it? Right here. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to look pretty, right? So we'll do something like this, I guess. And then grab a servo and just some item ducts. And we'll probably feed this into two sides of this because uh, that probably makes more sense, right? So I actually should have grabbed a retriever now that I think of it, but the servo will work. Go ahead and grab that, pop that there, turn that on. Awesome. Then right now it's doing everything. So let's probably turn that off for a second. Uh, put it on high. I'm gonna set that to moon rock. Maybe asteroid rock. And this one's the different color one. No, there's two color ones, isn't there? I'm almost positive there's another color of asteroid rock, right? Yeah, I'm not seeing it here. It'll come in sooner or later. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, turn that back on. And uh, oh, actually make sure that's on a whitelist. And it should just send that stuff in there, right? And then it should clear that stuff out relatively quickly. Yeah, that'll work. Sweet. So let's go ahead and actually, since I've grabbed a second, second servo instead of a retriever like I planned to, let's go ahead and actually do a second connection. And uh, just so I can grab that stuff really quickly in case it hits like a big asteroid, right? Yeah, there we go. And if it doesn't take anything, I can kind of check it here. Uh, but in time, I should start seeing uh, other resources come in here pretty quickly. And uh, as it hits, you know, asteroids. <laughs> right now it's just mining probably just like weird chunks with just these floaty bits in it, right? But once it hits an actual asteroid, it must have hit one because it brought in those asteroid rocks, right? 
but I can probably toss those in there. There you go. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about, there's uh, one more kind of asteroid rock. I'm almost positive. There's another one, right? Like a second color? Actually, there might be three. If I go to asteroid, there's one, two, three colors. I don't know if it's going to take it all. So that's my only thing here. So I'm going to let it run for a bit, I guess. And uh, just make sure it actually is getting some resources here from time to time. Like I said, this isn't going to be fast, but it's going to be running nonstop. Uh, because we have that chunk loaded now and we do have it on the power. And uh, I may have to come back when this thing is finally full, you know. And uh, it could be full of aluminum, iron, and hopefully meteoric iron. Or through its kind of session, I'll have to just kind of readjust it to another side. I'd go to this side right now, no problem. And it uh, wouldn't hurt anything. Then I'll probably have to move it to like the other side of the ship. Work from over there, right? Because uh, it's going to be 512 blocks out. So I've gone ahead and let this thing run for a bit. And it's already gone through at least one asteroid. And uh, cleared out a bunch of iron. These other ones are probably just from like uh, single floating blocks on the mini asteroids. I also noticed too, and I don't know if you could see them, but off in distance I could see where asteroids crashed. And uh, I could go mine those too, so that is pretty awesome. You can actually stand on these uh, hologram blocks, which are support blocks from RF Tools, uh, just from the preview there. And uh, that's why they're landing on there, which is a little strange, because uh, they're only meant as preview. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, jump into our rocket. We're going to head to the moon now check out the moon uh probably fight another boss and uh we need to find that tier three rocket schematic so hopefully we can do that too the rocket is all fueled up should be good to go so realistically we just need to take off here should be a different kind of landing too um yeah i forget how this one works it might be like the rover like you see the mars rover like the, in, in the real world not minecraft um how it has like it bounces <laughs> like a beach ball you know what i mean it has all the little weird little bubble airbag things i think it might be like that so we'll go and check that out see how it goes and uh yeah see if we can get some stuff done i'm not used to having to worry about radiation anymore too but i brought us a bunch of radiation potions and um i think that radiation is actually quite heavier like there's a lot more of it on the uh, on mars as well as uh what is the other bad thing? There's like another bad thing. Um, grab you. There you go. Lock onto that one. And uh, launch. There you go. As well as uh, more meteors. I think more meteors land there. Yeah, this is kind of, kind of the <laughs> landing we're dealing with here. Oh, can you control the speed? Oh, you don't have to worry about the speed on this one. <laughs> I think we had to stop bouncing a bit. Anyway. Yeah, you bounce. You bounce like a beach ball. <laughs> which is kind of funny. At least it's not nighttime. Oh, it is almost nighttime. So, of course, it's Mars, so it's a red planet. So, that is definitely going to be something uh, that we're dealing with here. There we go. And uh, we should be able to right click that. Did I actually bring my tank? Hopefully, I did. Yeah, I did. Sweet. We won't need it to get home, but uh, that doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh, I'll throw that there. There we go. Go ahead and grab a rocket. Uh, while we're at it, before we do anything, let's go ahead and set up our digital miner. Uh, there is a material we need here, and I want to grab it. Did I grab no chest? I'm going to have to go back to the base. Maybe I'll do that in a bit. Uh, the dash. Dash is one of the materials we need here. So dash. Yeah, this stuff. This uh, dash ore. And uh, we need that to work on the next rocket, I believe. So yeah, that's the thing. I guess it doesn't matter. I can come back. I'll just set the, um, I guess this here. So we go just right click. Go to, I guess, Mars. Sweet. And plus. There we go. Then we can come back anytime we want. I want to go check one of these out and show these to you too because they're actually pretty neat. <laughs> these little eggs. This is actually a little like mob that'll follow you around. He's pretty cool. But anyway, let's do that. There you go. We've got a uh, whatever this is. <laughs> you see here has attack damage and stuff like that. You can name them. I'm going to call them a uh, blob. <laughs> and there's different color ones. I don't know if there's like something to do with that. I don't want them to sit. And I think you can give them a chest too. I think you can give them a chest and then they have an inventory or something like that. Have never never really done much with them. Is he following? Are you gonna follow me? Come on, follow me, blob. Yeah, yeah, he's following. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our compass here. So let's go ahead and do that. Where's my compass? My compass would be uh, right in front of my face. There we go. Sweet, and we are headed this way. There we go. I should also mention too, there's a quest line here. Uh, for the Mars rover, I'm not doing that one because I didn't find it in Mars. <laughs> not Mars, sorry, the moon. 
So I really just don't want to have to keep going to dungeons and hunting that thing down. And uh, it would have made it so I move faster. That is one of the good things about the rovers. Because we don't have super fast travel right now uh, with our slow jetpacks. It's actually probably quicker for me to run on the ground. Is he following me? Yeah, he is. <laughs> there you go. Those eggs are all over the place, too. I might, uh, I'm actually curious. I'm curious now. Where is he? He's right there. Can I put him in a mob prisma tool? Because if so, I may bring back some of these guys to my base. Ah, uh, it doesn't work. Okay. Not sure how I'd bring him back to my base then. So, maybe he just belongs on Mars. Uh, I do need my compass though, so let's grab you. And uh, we're just going to wander off. I mean, there's not a lot to see on this planet. Um, I don't think there's cities on this one. There may be, uh, but I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I would have already seen one right by now, to be honest. Which is funny, because you think they were going to put uh, mobs on any planet, it'd be Mars, because everyone's always talking about Martians, right? There's another egg. Uh, you can get a bunch of these guys following you, too. At one point in one pack, I remember I had about 50 of these guys just following me around. And they actually fight for you, too, which is kind of funny. Uh, there you go. He'll just follow me. <laughs> See here. Uh, hopefully, we don't have to go too far. You notice it says medium radiation, too. So I'm already kind of stacking up radiation. This is not a very friendly planet. Uh, we need to be able to make the next level of uh, thermal armor, which requires dash as well. So that's another thing we need. I see a green egg over there. <laughs> I'm not going to walk over that way, though. So anyway, I'm going to keep walking uh, with my two little blobbies. And uh, yeah, look for this dungeon. And uh, once I get there, we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at that and uh, probably fight another boss. Okay, I found the dungeon, and I found a bunch of these guys, too. So they're coming with us. They're probably not going to survive, but uh, we are legion, and uh, we're going to get this done. So anyway, let's jump down here. And uh, yeah, we got a green one this time. And it uh, shouldn't be too bad. I mean, we got this bow, right? Any mobs? No. Nope. Oh, we got a mob spawner here. I'm thinking about it sometime, too. Maybe not this planet wrapping uh, some of these mob spawners, too. Um, because uh, that may be useful to us. I don't know if we're going to eat experience at any point in the pack, but if we do, it'd be an easy way to do it. Are you guys all stuck in that? I mean, they won't stay stuck there. I guess I don't have to worry about it. These dungeons, really, I'm not really concerned about them, to be honest. Let's just say die, we got to get them done. Uh, can you just go away? There you go. Sweet. And uh, yeah, I think if I take damage, um, those little blob things will fight for me. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. But anyway, let's go. They don't do much damage, though. They're more of a distraction than anything. But, uh, I, I don't know if they're going to survive this, to be honest. But anyway, let's go do this. Let's go ahead and get rid of you. There's so many of them. Let's head this way. Let's see if we can get this done. Uh, this one's cool, though. I, I, I'm thinking about taking some of these bricks, but I don't know if they'd actually fit into my build. Carbon. What's carbon used for? Do, am I going to actually need those later? No, because we went about that in a different way. Okay, so we don't actually need that. Maybe I'll grab them either way. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt. I can ignore food and redstone too. But anyway, let's keep going here. There we go. Oh, did they just push me? They did too. They just pushed me weird. We got ourselves another chest here. Oh, somehow he got ahead of me. <laughs> Pretty sneaky. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm looking at enchantments. They're actually pushing me around. That's a little a little weird here. Ooh, dash armor. A full set of dash armor, actually. Grab you. And uh, we're going to have a boss in here. So this boss, I believe, is the creeper boss. So, yeah, he's, uh, he's interesting. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, get rid of you, you, and you. Notice these little creeper eggs here. I think they get blown up during the fight. Um, yeah. <laughs> They come to life and you have little baby creepers, but basically it's a gas fight. It's just a gas fight. So yeah, you just sit there. There's one of the baby creepers there. There's another one, uh, but it's not really hard. <laughs> it's just a big giant three headed creeper. And uh, I think a bunch of our buddies are always already gone. I usually just position myself um, kind of just to the quarter of one of the, of the rooms. That way when you get hit, you get kind of knocked up there. Uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, yeah, takes a little bit of time here. <laughs> and he throws them such a... He, he's actually getting pushed back by the things. That is weird. I guess he won't send his things unless you're within a certain range, too. 
they're helping me fight. They're helping me fight the creeper. Um, I think he loses heads too, actually takes damage. But anyway, I don't even know why I hit those off ones because I mean, they just, Bob blew up. Oh no, the original Bob. Bob's gone. Bob didn't make it. We'll have to make a tombstone for Bob. <laughs> yeah, there goes one of the heads there. And uh, as he kind of takes damage, he's just gonna lose another head until he finally loses the last one. Bam, and you're done. Oh, one guy lived. Oh, you're gonna be. That's quite the sound. <laughs> okay, now that that's done, uh, the one lone survivor, we have got to give him a proper name now. Uh, you're going to be the predecessor to Bob, so you're going to be Bob too. So you're Bob as well. Favorite food, Ritz over Peter. I think there's like a whole breeding system too, and I think you can get like different damage and stuff, which is uh, really weird. Oh, follow. You're not living here. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, see what we got here. Did we actually get a key? We did. Let's go ahead and uh, use that. And uh, see if we actually got a schematic or if I'm going to have to go ahead and do another one of these. I got a cargo rocket, which means I actually have to go and do another one of these dungeons. So, yeah, I'll do that on my own time. But uh, anyway, that's that. That's the dungeon. I'm going to go back and probably set up the um, miner and then I'll go and do another one of these dungeons in between episodes. So I went back, got me a chest and uh, yeah, set up the digital miner. It is good to go. While I was there, I went ahead and made this too. This is the anchor upgrade uh, for the machine. Makes it so it actually stays chunk loaded. So one more thing, just deal dealing with chunk loading. So we got that going, because this thing doesn't chunk load by default. And uh, yeah, we're getting pretty good resources here. We're getting some iron. I don't really care about that, that at this point. Uh, but copper and uh, tin, I believe. Yeah, tin. So decent resources there that I don't have to make anymore. So I can just get a whole lot of that. And uh, that's pretty fantastic. And I just need to process it. Uh, but yeah, just just looking good all around. In between episodes, I am going to probably check out the moons. I'll probably go check these out. But I'm almost positive there's nothing good on these moons. So I don't really want to show the whole blast off and launch. Uh, I want to go to two of the ones that are actually going to be progress, right? So uh, the next one will be Venus. So that is a thing. But uh, And then Mercury. <laughs> and then the scary planets, basically. And uh, yeah, stuff like that. So that is kind of the plan there. What we're going to do, I'm going to have to do another dungeon. But uh, I'll do that on my time. But anyway, I am going to go ahead, I think, and wrap this one up here. So as always, guys, like this video. Please hit that like button. I really liked it. Hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. Well, guys, I'll have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.